Well, hi there. This is Wesley Franklin. It's a Sunday, uh, June the 28th, and it's um, almost going on three right right now. And I just wanted to get on here just to let you know uh, a little bit to share about the ministry and everything, but wanted to get on and to ha have you to see if you can pray for my health issues and I know that my time will come I just don't know the hour or the day or the year or the month but let, let us all trust delight commit and rest. Trust, delight, commit, and rest in the Lord. There's a Bible Bible verse that talks about that, and I remember that, and I remember it by watching somebody that's a pastor, that's named Pastor Jim Baker. Now I I know some people tell me to be careful with that person and. Pastor Jim Baker and but I remember I got a little bit of some help not just on my own with that verse but also from a pastor named Jim Baker but it's been like it's went goes trust delight commit and rest in the Lord now this video might be a little bit long, maybe, but ho hopefully a few pastors might take take a little peek at this vid video and maybe a few church fa families and maybe family and different neighbors or but I'll be posting this on my YouTube channel too, I think, and my Facebook page. I was born in L L.A. I never grew up out there in L L.A., but I was born out there. I was born at the Martin Luther King Hospital. I was a, I was adopted. I was I was born with drugs in my system drugs in my system because my real mom she did co cocaine and she was an alcoholic person my you know real mom and and then I got taken into uh, adopted with different uh, other people and they knew Jesus Christ. They knew the um, Lord, and I don't really know all their back their backgrounds and stuff. But they knew the Lord. My dad was a pastor. I grew up and raised of of a a believer and going going to church. And I got baptized before when I was about I don't know five or six years old maybe four years old, five years old, six, maybe, and I was in special ed classes be, be, before in elementary, middle school. I have a little stuttering issue where I stutter. I'm sure, I don't know if some people notice that, maybe not, but I have a little bit of disability and stuff like, you know, that, um, Grew up in in Moreno Valley with my adopted parents. Was it living with with my real mom, but but with my adopted parents and they deceased and got into foster care. I didn't get adopted twice, but I got into foster foster care and in Sun City. I lived with the same foster parents from Sun City, then they moved to 
Menifee, and then they moved to Hemet. Now I was seven, 17 years, years old. And my and they were my illegal guardianship parents. They didn't adopt me twice, no, but they went illegal guardianship around sixteen when I was sixteen years old. But my dad, he went home to be with the Lord. He was a bishop, a pastor, and he went home when I was about 16 and now I'm, I'm 29 and I went to Hemet Valley High School out here in, in Hemet. I went to Valley View High School out there in Marino Valley, uh, but I didn't grow up out there in Marino Valley, not all of my life. I've been out here in Hemet for about 11 years. I've been on my own, living in on my own for about eight years, nine years. I was nineteen, living in my living on my own, and now I'm. And when I was about twenty-one year, years old, the Lord spoke to me, and He told me to go out and carry the the uh, cross. Share the gospel. Shake the shake the gospel. Go into the Hemet Valley. Sound the alarm. And share the gospel. Now it's when I was twenty one years old, and after what happened to Sandy Hook, what happened to Sandy Sandy Hook? Sandy Hook Elementary School after that shooting that took place in 2012, about 2013, that's when the Lord spoke to me and told me to go out and share the gospel, carry this cross. I have got prayed for, for different People, people had asked me to pray for them. Um, I have got rocks thrown at me. Um, I have got my cross broken by somebody at right there by Seven Eleven gas station, and um, I have a little stuttering disability pro problem, and um, and I carry this cross and at the age of 24 I I um, started picking up trash because that was the next calling that God had me do and and uh, I want to give a Bible verses really quick in John 12 20 30, 32 then Jesus told them, you are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before the darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Be light, lives in the, in the light while you have the light so that you may become children of light when we have finished speaking G Jesus left hide himself from 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 them I like that Bible verse is to walk in the light keep the faith shine our hearts for the glory of Jesus Christ and I have this flyers of a, a, a story of why I carry the um, cross and I share the gospel of G G Jesus and this is about like a nine minutes video so 
Hopefully this will let me speak just a little bit more. I don't know, but I have a little stuttering. I'm, I'm sure some of you have noticed or maybe didn't know when you approached me and I'll be getting it, it, it invited to a different YouTube channel from a different pastor in the next couple of weeks, maybe on 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 God's time timing whenever he calls calls me on my um phone but um And then the Lord gave me this other song the day before my birthday or after my 29th bir birthday of 2020 of this year of um, June. And it goes, trust in your heart. No, focus your heart on the Lord Jesus Christ. He made the moon and the stars. He is so bright like the stars. Focus your heart on the Lord Jesus Christ. He made the moon and the stars. He is brighter than the stars. He is so brighter than the stars. And I began to uh, shed tears after that. So, anyways, uh, so after Sandy Hook Elementary, that's when the Lord told me that to go out into the city and share the gospel and that was in 2013 and and he told me that our freedom will be taken away he's spoken to, to me so ever since then i've been doing god's work carrying a cross lifting up the cross of the glory of Jesus and sounding the, the alarm, sometimes taking going to Temethila or Riverside, which I don't go to Riverside too, too often or not at all. Moreno Valley I did be, before, but not too much or not at all, but mostly to Temethila Mall and carrying this yellow cross and sharing the gospel and and he showed me that the dead will be risen and everything and just the Bible says go he into all the earth and complain uh, and share all our hearts and shine our hearts in the light through the love of Jesus and pray for my health. I hope we can, um, but anyways, this will go on my YouTube, and I hope this can get shared with, you, you can share it, like it, comment, or whatever you feel led to do in your heart. This is Wesley Franklin, and thanks for watching, and Trust, delight, commit, and rest.
Trust, delight, commit, and rest in the Lord. <laughs> Love you. Take care. Until next time, keep looking our our eyes up above to the Lord Jesus. Love you. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.